Greetings and salutations, my fellow adventurers. I hope you're all having a great frickin' Monday. I woke up to see that uh, Steven Crowder had posted this video right here. Gay man reveals dark side of the LGBT community. And I watched it, and it's a, a street conversation. Steven went around talking to people about the state of the nation. And he had a conversation with this gay man here. Gay man is a conservative, children of a family of immigrants, child of a family of immigrants, excuse me. And I'm not going to play the whole video with it because it's 14 minutes long. Uh, but you're welcome to come watch it for yourself. And in it, this gay man articulates that the LGBTQ does not represent him anymore. That he has been ostracized from this group of people. That he wants the L, G, and B to be separate from the rest of it. Because of what they are doing to children. And how they are choosing to involve children in their activities. In Pride, Drag Queen Story Hour. He articulates all these things that um, we've talked about at length here on the channel. And over on the political streams over on Twitch. And... I'm not going to stop talking about this until people really start doing something about it. For example, like Zion's Bank, which pulled funding from Idaho Pride because of the involvement of children. We need to see a flood of cultural pushback against kids being at Pride, drag queen story hour, child drag shows... And, and all, the, all the lefties I hear reen off in the distance. Yeah, sure. Throw child pageants in there with it. That's sexualization of children, too. I'm not okay with it. And it's not just Steven Crowder and this one random gay guy he found on the street. It's people like Blair White. Blair White, well-known conservative trans woman. You type in TERF on her channel... And you get a lot of videos talking about J.K. Rowling. And if you just searched through her channel, you would see a lot of videos where she is critiquing the LGBT community for its hyper-radical views and unwillingness to have polite conversation with opposing ideas. She spends a lot of time talking about that. She also spends... Here's a good video, for example. I watched this a while back drag for kids is becoming a problem and um, on the thumbnail here we see one of these famous instances where someone went to read drag queen story hour to a bunch of kids at a school or a library I think it was and the individual just flashed his junk at a room full of kids no legal repercussions wasn't even arrested then we come over here to Twitter and we have this very popular Twitter page called Gays Against Groomers. And I'm going to read you this thread to kind of drive this whole thing home. Gays Against Groomers is a coalition of gay people who oppose the recent trend of indoctrinating and sexualizing children under the guise of the LGBTQIA+. God, I hate that acronym. <sighs> Thread. Our community that once preached love and acceptance of others has been hijacked by radical activists who are now pushing extreme concepts onto society, specifically targeting children in recent years. The overwhelming majority of gay people are against what the community has transformed into, and we do not accept the political movement pushing this agenda in our name. Gays Against Groomers directly opposes the sexualization of children. This includes drag queen story hour, drag shows involving children, the transitioning and medicalization of minors, and gender theory being taught in the classroom. These activists, backed by school boards, government, woke media, and corporations, have been speaking on our behalf for too long. When fighting for equality, our goal was to successfully integrate ourselves into society. But now these radicals aim to restructure it entirely in order to accommodate a fringe minority. 
That is something conservatives have been saying for 20 years. We were called, we were called conspiracy theorists, homophobes, accused of the slippery slope fallacy. Well, here we are. Aim to restructure society around a fringe minority, as well as seek to indoctrinate children into their ideology. We're saying no. There are millions of gays within the community that want nothing to do with the alphabet religion, and it has become a religion, the, the cult of woke, and join the fight with parents and concerned people everywhere to protect children. We also aim to return sanity and reclaim the community we once called our own. The gay community is not a monolith. Those pushing this agenda do not represent or speak for us all, nor do we want to be associated with them in any way. What we are witnessing is a mass-scale child abuse being perpetrated on an entire generation, and we will no longer sit by and watch it happen. It is going to take those of us from within the community to finally put an end to this insanity. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Join us, allies welcome. And I firmly stand with these people. I firmly stand with these people. It's no secret that I'm very critical of the gay community. But these are the kind of gay people that I, I stand eye to eye and proudly shake their hand and welcome them into society. Because this is what it looks like to be a gay individual who is part of a functioning society. It, it passed the level of we just want equal rights and acceptance or tolerance a long, long time ago. And it's just been getting progressively more focused on restructuring the entirety of civilization around this minority group of people and we know from historical precedent that when countries nations empires start doing that they crumble along with a lot of other telltale signs of empires crumbling that the u.s is currently exhibiting the west is currently exhibiting so that's really all I wanted to mention is that this is a fight that needs to be continued in every sense. We have to constantly talk about this fight. We have to constantly be making people aware of what's going on. All it takes is a quick conversation. Hey, did you know they're doing this? Hey, did you know they're doing that? What? No, they're not. Here's a, here's a news article. I have photo evidence. A lot of people don't know that this stuff's going on. I can tell you that's a big problem around here especially with the older generation, they think, oh, there's no way that can possibly be going on. Just put it in their face. Say, hey, you vote Democrat, this is what Democrats are pushing for. And you put the children petting men wearing dog fetish gear. Yeah, you just put the picture right in front of their face and, and see if they can still vote D this November. That's all I got for you guys. Until next time. Appreciate you being here. All the ways to support us are down in the description. Welcome to the adventure.